All right, cord cutters, we're gonna take a look at the Mediasonic Homeworks HW180STB uh, DVR for over-the-air television. They call it a digital converter box, but uh, this is really a 1080p DVR to record programs and eliminate TiVo or anything like that. It's a one-time purchase. So let's take a look at what's inside this box. First thing, user manual. RCA cords a remote control and the actual set top box In addition to the DVR, I also bought two SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0 128GB thumb drives that I could use to record uh, TV shows on. First step is to do a channel search. All right, so here we are on ABC News. The signal's coming in, you know, pretty decently, but that all depends on how your antenna is going to perform. Uh, so let's go into some of the features. Uh, one of the coolest ones is TV list. This gives you a list of all of the stations, and if you want to switch between stations, if I want to go to NBC, I just move up to it. I hit OK, and it's telling me what is on NBC right now. Uh, if I want to go back, uh, oh, that's favorite. If I hit uh, TV list, you can create sets of favorites based on these stations as well, which is kind of neat. Uh, so here we are back on the news. You get a brief program guide down here. If I hit the info button, I will get a more expanded program guide. It tells me that the quality of my current signal is 55%, which isn't so good, but it is coming in pretty decently. It gives me the frequency and bandwidth that I'm on. Uh, and it will give me program information inside of here about whatever I might be watching. But this currently just says that it's news. So let's exit this. And then there is a electronic program guide. I have found this to be a little wonky. Um, sometimes the guide comes in full, sometimes it isn't all there. So let's see what happens here. And there's the guide. So let's say that we want to record Modern Family tonight. Military time, it's going to be on from 2300 to 2331. You can move down to Modern Family and it tells me, gives me a brief description of the show and I hit OK. And then it comes up like this. You program it like an old school VCR. It's not like a TiVo where it finds every instance of Modern Family and record it, records it for you. This records based on channel, date, and time. So. This is gonna be on ABC Channel 7. This is the name of it. It's gonna to start today, which is August 8th, a Wednesday, uh, 2018. We're gonna start at 2300 and it's gonna to record to 2331 in this particular case. We go down to, do we wanna just record it tonight? Do we wanna record it daily? Or do we wanna record it every week? So this does not know to record Modern Family every Wednesday. What this does is it actually records it every seven days, which is a little kind of wonky, but let's record it every week. And do we want it to record or do we want to set it to view? You can set it to view so every Wednesday at eight, it just automatically changes to Modern Family. I don't know why you do that. I think you would just always want to record it. That's what I do. So now we've just created an instance there. But sometimes the program guide isn't working and sometimes you need to program it all on your own. So inside the program guide, which you can get to by using the timer button, uh, you can add, edit, delete, or exit. Right now this is highlighted. If I hit zero two, I would edit it and I'm back to that same screen there. Let's exit out of there and let's hit zero one to add. Okay, so what do I want to add? Let's say I want to record Big Brother on CBS Channel 2, and I want it to start tonight at 8 o'clock. 
Uh, so today is Wednesday, it's on tonight, it's on at eight. Uh, at eight o'clock military time is eight plus 12 is 20. So we type in two zero, okay, come on. Two zero zero zero. As you can see, uh, I'm only about six feet away from the box right now and the remote is a pain. Um, that's probably one of the biggest drawbacks to this unit is uh, this remote is not intuitively set up, uh, nor is it easy to point to the box and use, and it has fresh batteries in it. Um, so let's say we want to record to 2100, and we want to record it every week. Uh, now a note that I've found is uh, programs that are longer than two hours, say a show like America's Got Talent, uh, I will record in one hour increments because if something obstructs the antenna and the signal goes down and the uh, file stops recording, at least it resumes recording an hour later. Um, I, it's been kind of a little workaround that I found. I've also found that when you're watching back videos that are really long, like two hours long, fast forward and searching through them is pretty difficult. The shorter they are, the easier that they are to search. So let's hit OK, and now we have two instances recording, one on CBS uh, starting today from 2,000 hours to 2,100, and on ABC 2,300 to 2,331. All right, so let's add another instance here. Let's say you want to record something like, uh, I don't know, uh, Modern Family Every Day. And let's say that that is on uh, Channel 11 uh, Fox. KTTV in our neighborhood, and it's every day at 10 o'clock. So 10 plus 12 is 22, so 2,200 hours, and we want to record to 2,230. And we want to record every day. Now, the problem with this is, is Modern Family is going to be on at 2,200 hours every day, Monday through Friday but this doesn't have that setting. So it will record at 10 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday as well, whatever happens to be on Fox. And that's kind of a drawback of this system. But we can record daily and we wanna go ahead and record it. And now we have three instances up here. If you wanna delete one, you just go down and you select whichever one you wanna delete. You type in 03, do you wanna delete this? Okay, and it deletes it. Now let's exit out of here and go into playback. Um, playback is done by hitting this little USB button right here, um, which is in a crappy place on the remote and is kind of a pain to find, but let's hit USB. And now it's logging into the USB card. I guess you could put music, photos, and movies on it. I just use the personal video recorder. So I click on the PVR. Uh, these are the folders that are in there. HB PVR is the one for this unit. I open that up. Now here's all the recordings that I have thus far. Uh, they're recorded in uh, MPEG transport stream, MTS files. And it tells me that this was CBS HD. It was recorded on May 16th, 2018 at 2000 hours, which is what, uh, eight o'clock. Uh, and then this one was recorded on uh, June 28th, 2018 at 2100 hours. Now you can rename these, um, but that's kind of a pain to go through the keyboard and try and rename each one. Most shows I'm just gonna watch once and throw away. So I just end up having to remember what channel and what time. And that's a little cumbersome, but you know, it works. Uh, let's go down to a more recent episode of so you find like an episode here, this is I think his big brother. And then from here we hit the play button and the show starts playing. And you can pause it. You can of course stop it, resume it, and you can hit fast forward and rewind. So right now I'm at four times fast forward. Now the other drawback is, is when you're playing back something, you can't be recording something. So that's why I bought two USBs uh, so I can have one always recording and I can pull the other one out and put it in another player or a computer and watch whatever shows are on it. Um, so you fast forward and we hit pause. Um, there is no like 
in a TiVo where you see where you are in a program, you have to hit info. And that tells me that I'm one minute, 58 seconds in of what is 20 minutes here. So Big Brother, this particular episode was supposed to be an hour long, but 20 minutes in, it took a dive. And it tells me that my file size is only 2,256 megabytes, which an hour show should be roughly about six gigs. Um, that gives you an idea how much data you need. A 64 gig card is roughly 10 hours. So you can jump forward. If I hit go to, then I can put in a time. Let's try 19 minutes and okay. There, we jump to 19 minutes. If I hit info, it tells me I'm now at 19 minutes of what's gonna be 20 minutes. So, a couple of the problems that I've had with this unit is um, what I've stated that it records daily, which can be a cumbersome for recording something like Seinfeld. If the antenna goes out, sometimes entire programs are not recorded. Uh, you can't watch and record, uh, you can't watch a program and record another program, so you need two uh, USB cards or two hard drives to be able to swap back and forth between that. Um, the guide isn't perfect, it's sometimes cumbersome. Um, and uh, what we do is we found it to be very useful in getting maybe 80% of our TV programs. And when this thing happens to fail, then we open up an app like the CBS app. And this particular case, we ended up watching the rest of the Big Brother on a CBS app and had to watch commercials with it. But I'd say a good 80% of the time, this thing records Seinfeld and records a lot of our shows. And it does it with no problem. For $20, $25, I think I paid for it. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. There'll be a link in the description down below. Um, I think it's totally worth it, but it's not as elegant as a TiVo. Now, the cool thing about it is the thumb drive you can pull out of this unit and you can stick it into your computer and you can save these shows very easily. Um, you can. There's several programs that you can find online that'll convert an MTS stream into something else. There, it just I think it just lost the signal. Oh, yeah, lost the signal and moved on to the next show, which is America's Got Talent. See, it's 7,000 megabytes, roughly seven gigs for this hour, 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames. So if you want to record something on the air and save it later, you just pull the thumb drive out, stick it in your computer and, you know, save it that way, which is pretty neat. Once you have it on a computer, you can open this up and here's that HP PVR, same folder that we saw when we were looking at it on, uh, on the television. And here's all of my recordings, all my files. And I could take any one of these and then just open them up with uh, something like uh, VLC or MPEG stream clip that uh, a QuickTime player and do a conversion of these files so they'll play or so I can save them onto something else. Um, and it's really pretty much that simple. If you found the review of this HomeWorks MediaSonic HW180STB uh, DVR box useful, then please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers so I can get a cool plaque from YouTube and you could help me do that by hitting subscribe. So if I helped you out, do that. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.